BMW wiring you say, an issue you say, never. Hello and welcome to another budget and leg review. Now it's just a quick one, I've already kind of found the problem but I wasn't going to film the video, but I said I'd quickly just do it just in case it helps anybody. 2007 BMW N12 non-turbo. And we have issues with the ABS, the front ABS sensors and the airbag light is on. And I've quickly checked the two sensors and uh, there is no uh, pattern coming out of them. So I can't, even when I spin the wheel by hand, I've quickly put it on the oscilloscope. Nothing, it looks like the sensors are completely dead. Um, the ohms reading on this side is absolutely through the roof. It's 13,000 mega ohms or something along them lines. The other side is 6.6, .6, I think. Anyway, it's still way, way, way too high. But everything else looks fine. I did notice on this particular car, the wiring here looks a bit dodgy. Someone's been at it. Let me turn the torch on. Someone's been at it here. You can see the wiring looks a little bit dodgy. They've just put um, some tape over it. And uh, yeah, both sensors practically gone at once, so that's kind of an indication. So, checking all the wire, took the headlight off, all that wiring looks good, but again, you know, typical BMW, so where do you check? You always go to the plug, and look at that. Look at the green clusters on that plug. And then, when you look at it down there, on the ABS pump as well, you can kind of see it, but you really see how bad it is there. So we're gonna attempt to clean it as best we can, put it all back and see what's happening. But I'll show you what's also happening on the scan tool. I'll show the error codes in a second, but what you've got to do is you've got to take off the air box and the intake pipe and obviously disconnect and remove, not disconnect the pipe to disconnect the, the housing here for the uh, ECU and the fuse box that will actually allow you to get that plug off because if you don't you're not going to be able to get the plug off. Right this is the error code from the airbag system but just if you look at it closely look it says vehicle speed that's the important thing when it can't work out how fast the vehicle's going depending on your system it doesn't know when to deploy the airbag or not so um the airbag light has absolutely nothing to do with the airbag system if that makes sense it's all to do with the abs system right i'm going to put a picture up of the two error codes i had ignore the middle error code because that's when that, that i was doing that when i was unplugging sensors and doing stuff um i don't want to plug this back to get the error codes up so i just want to clean it all but they're the two error codes for the two wheels so all i'm going to do now is Clean that up as best I can, um, contact cleaner, clean it, you know, get all the crap out, put it all back and hope for the best. Right, now, look at the difference now. It's lovely. And wires down there, other connections down there are good too. So, let's put it all back together. Right, so what was happening is the ABS light was on as you can see, and when I went to read the sensors, the front two sensors were reading 255 kilometers an hour, which is essentially an open circuit. I've disconnected that sensor to make it read that way now. But essentially both of the front sensors were reading that way. So it was as if they didn't have any sensors on at all. Um, so I think I forgot to show that. That's why I'm just quickly showing you that now. Right, just as I thought, 12 volts. We was only getting 0.4 volts before before the fix now obviously I, I can't show you that but you should be getting 12 volts on this particular car with this particular sensor and uh, we were getting absolutely nothing what we can do is there we go get the old uh, silly scope working look at that there we go lovely so we definitely know we're getting signal there, which we wasn't getting anything before. We finally got back, because today we're doing this, plus we're doing the RV8, or the RX8, which has a V8 engine in. So we're doing a couple of bits today at the same time. But anyway, no engine lights, no engine lights, all good. No fault code stored anywhere. Let me go into the ABS system. Yes. 
read. We're all good. So let me just go into the data side of things. And wheel speed sensors. Select all. Boom. Now we're going to actually, can we graph these? Can we see them? Oh, we can't see them all on the same graph. Hold on. We can. There we go. Now this might be a bit awkward because the size of the screen. Just let me do my run first um, and then I'll show you. The, um, can we go back to virtual? When you turn in a corner, they will change speed, so don't worry about that. But what, what I will try and get now on camera is just them all kind of going up. See that, the wheels are turned. So let me just go forward again. Now you can see they all kind of went up at the same time, which is good. So I'm going to graph that, take it for a drive, and I'm going to show you the graph. And uh, yeah, should all be good now. Right, also just be careful when you read error codes, like we had an airbag issue here, the airbag light came on. It had nothing to do with the airbag system. So read the codes properly and don't be afraid if you've got, you know, three or four faults in three or four systems because it could just be one fault. Now, it is experience and everything else that leads you just to that one fault because otherwise you could be chasing airbags and stripping stuff and, you know, doing hours and hours of work and getting absolutely nowhere. Um, so just read your error codes properly and, uh, you know, you can kind of pinpoint the issue rather than going through every single module. So that's it. Right, and there we go. You're going to see a slight difference in some of them, like I said, because uh, I'm turning the corner and the wheels turn at slightly different speed. But look, there's no dropouts. There's nothing major. It's all good. All the lights are off. Everything is sorted. So as always, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget, links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted.